Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you reels from Audiofing. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. And also, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do check the video description and where you will find the instruction on how to enter the competition or the giveaway. And also, please do check that it is still open by checking that the um, winners have not been announced. Thank you. So what is Reels? Reels is a really nice tape emulation. One of those tape emulation which allows you to actually get that uh, lo-fi type of uh, sound. So um, as you can see, we are inside AUM. I'm running it as an AUV3 instance, of course. And uh, I have chosen as an audio source for now, Tomophone, so that I can have some of those vocal effects. But of course, the Tomophone will give you a little bit more than just the vocal effects. So let's go through a little bit the UI and then I'm going to show you some presets and I'm going to use different audio sources. So starting from the top here, we have a selection of presets, as always, standard user interface from AudioFing. So you go up and down here for the preset, your factory bank and user bank. Then you can go up and down here for the preset using the arrows. You can save, delete presets and also randomize parameters, which is really nice to create a different type of presets. You can lock parameters here as you change uh, through uh, different presets. And then, of course, you can access the, um, the um, menu here from um, to actually go through the global settings um, or um, if you want to do echo level, for example, post feedback, uh, pre feedbacks, if you want to set different over sampling uh, setting, you can copy and paste uh, your preset, you can access the online menu and also the about. And of course, you have additional option here on the global settings to clean the buffer, start the stop, uh, how you want to have that configured if you want the animation and the Doppler echo. So um, you can bypass it here or not. So now you start to hear some of the easy noise here. Okay, which I can remove um, here from the noise um, section. But starting here from the left hand side, you can choose between three, deep, uh, three different type uh, of emulation Jap from Japan, from Italy and from France. And they have different um, uh, characters, I should say. You can choose the, um, the speed here as well. You can set the harshness here in terms of distortion, then the pitch also um, fluctuations here with the wild wow flutter. You can have drop on volumes here as well with the drops control and then that leakage between the different channel with the cross talk here. You can decide the business here. And also mechanical noise from the motor. And you can also apply an envelope if you click on here. So if you set the his and the motor engine uh, noise to a level, you, you don't hear anything unless you receive uh, some sound which is coming from the audio source. And in that case, you will hear the noise uh, kicking off. Of course, here you can edit the attack and release as well. Um, here you can decide if you have uh, the echo on if you have it in sync to the bits per minute from your host and you can also set in if the you want uh, the echo uh, clean or impacted of course by the different parameters of um, of uh, the tape emulation um yeah you decide the timing the feedback the low pass as well in terms of frequency at the level and if you want uh, wet only let's remove the envelope wow, wow. You can start to hear that, and here you'll have the wet only. Okay, and um, here you have master controls for your input and output. You can decide if you want a, a soft clip as a limiter or not, if you want to combine uh, the stereo channel as a mono here, if you want to pre emphasize high frequencies here. <laughs> And then here you decide the speed for stop and restart, you know, the tape emulation. 
Here you have the control from wet and dry for your mix and then you can simulate the microphone and speaker as well. So pretty straightforward really. So now let's uh, listen to some presets and different audio sources at the same time. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, let's change uh, audio source and let's go for um, something uh, uh, which gives me a little bit of a rhythm. So let's choose um, Hammerhead here. Okay, uh, let's choose a uh, load of preset here in a Hammerhead. I like this beach party. Uh, let's decrease a little bit the volume and then I'll show you changing different presets, okay? <music> Okay, let's choose a different uh, um, audio source. Let's go for a normal grand piano, uh, so you will hear a little bit more um, the more gentle um, application of effects.
you can clearly see that when you have the where you don't have the soft clip enabled you see it, it tends to clip very easily so I recommend you have that on <laughs> Okay, let's choose uh, again a different audio source. Again, let's remove these piano and let's choose something uh, like um, Riffler, like so. And we're going to create a rhythm. So create riff and let's click play. Okay, let's change again the audio source. Let's go for uh, uh, something like uh, Eisen, like so. From Arturia, let's connect to the keyboard, like so. Okay, let's apply some preset to these. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this tutorial and demonstration. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.